So earlier this month, the legendary YouTuber Max Mofo got married and a lot of people were congratulating him as well as making funny memes about the situation like Possum Reviews saying, I hope nobody ate the cake, referencing the hair cake video Max Mofo made, and the compound posting this meme showing Max and his wife under a picture of Max pretending to marry Filthy Frank in a YouTube video and the caption, inviting your ex to your wedding is crazy. A lot of people were pleasantly surprised to see Filthy Frank attend and Max Mofo's wedding as they haven't made content together on YouTube in a really long time due to Filthy Frank moving on from his channel and instead making music under the name Joji. So it was great for fans to see that these guys are still close and friends with each other, with Joji even rearranging his tour times in order to make sure he can attend Max's wedding. But somebody who used to collab with Max Mofo a lot and was notably absent from attending this wedding is iDubbbz, who was in most of the videos that Max Mofo made with Filthy Frank and his other friend Anything For View. Jump down, jump down, and then say some fucking gay shit. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bungie pointed this out when he quote tweeted Max and said, Bro, iDubs didn't get invited. The Angel King 47 responds, Knowing him, he probably did, and gave some excuses not to go to Australia. Big Bungie responds, He was there a month ago to go on Cold Ones. And when he and Anisa got there, Max and Chad told him they were renovating the studio so they couldn't come on. Eldrick responds, LOL. So they got invited all the way to Australia and they fucked them over at the last minute? Beautiful. Bungie responds, exactly what he did to Sam Hyde, yeah. And knowing that Chad is a fan of Sam, I don't think it was a coincidence. Memology 101 responds to Bungie by saying, why would they invite a toxic motherfucker like him? Weekend Warrior said, I'm just glad Joji's there. Ga says, oof. Good for Max and the boys though. Ian has a husk of what he once was. Gotta be insanely awkward to be around him. They wouldn't even be able to reminisce about the good days without Anisa talking shit about Ian the whole time. Gamma says, Joji showed up, iDubs didn't. Crazy. Just a worm says, Disingenuous trolls are trying to claim that iDubs was not present at Max Mofo's wedding. However, this is a lie! Ian Jomha is clearly visible gazing from the darkness of the trees behind the happily married couple. Another conspiracy from obsessed haters debunked, showing him zooming into the background where he placed an unflattering drawing of iDubs. Max Mofo then posts another picture of him and the boys from the wedding holding cans of grog, and people continue to make fun of iDubs absence in the replies, like Cody who says, I guess Ian's handler didn't let him go. Keemstar shows an older picture of them standing together, but this time with Ian in the background, next to the new photo and says, bro got replaced. Real Dudes Are Us responds by saying, can you blame them? That other guy died a long time ago. Rip. Italian quote tweets scheme and says, iDubs will go down as the most self-destructive internet personality ever. Nobody quite got as famous as him, and then burned every bridge and kicked out of his own fan base like he did, entirely of their own volition. And before people mention his girlfriend, yeah, she's the cause. But nothing was stopping him from just telling her no at the start. He did this to himself, but then she might have left him. If your girlfriend can't stand you as you are, that's a sign you two won't work well together, period. And it's not like he'd be starved for a partner either. Bro is a celebrity with millions of subscribers. Make a single post about it and get thousands of submissions. This whole latter part of Italian's thread is just a little too parasocial and unrealistic, in my opinion. If iDubs made a tweet saying, someone please be my girlfriend, DM me if you're available. I don't know if that would have went over well. But continuing on, Permaband says, Congrats on Max's wedding, but iDubs really just left them all. Squirrel Mob responds by saying, iDubs betrayed his closest friends for an OnlyFans girl. He should be ridiculed and shamed as he was one of the greats, but threw it all away for a hole everyone has seen for $3. Core responds by saying, wait, Joji slash Frank showed up to it? Permaband responds, everyone except Ian did. Muggy says, I see people say Ian grew, but all he really did was change his politics. The rest of the crew actually grew while staying true to who they are. We then get some clarification about iDub's absence from this wedding on one of his live streams that Big Bungie tweets out with the caption, holy shit, it's way worse than not being invited. He was invited, but didn't go because Anisa was getting her back tattoo at the same time. Yeah, I talked to Max about the the wedding situation. I, when he was first fucking sending out invites, I was like really uncertain of how that was going to work out because I had some uh, kind of important plans here in the States. So we uh, we went a month earlier to kind of, you know, give him and Kat our well wishes. Um, that's why I was in Australia. And it's kind of also why we didn't do cold ones is because he was ramping up for his wedding stuff. 
Problemagic responds by saying, He says really important stuff in the States. Does he really say it was for the back tattoo? Big Bungie responds, What else could it possibly be? It's not so important that he can't do weekly uploads, podcast episodes, and streams. But it does mean they can't leave the country. The tattoo was being done in the same time frame. Ergo, it was probably the tattoo. Cyber responds by saying, I strongly dislike Idubs and Anisa, but this is faulty logic. Big Bungie responds, nah. -uh. Robin Suda says, If my friend told me that I couldn't go to his wedding because my wife had to finish her back tattoo, and I had to film a podcast with her that week, I don't think I would be alive today. Top Orange says, I could be wrong, but Joji potentially sacrificed a lot of ticket sales by scheduling his tour around Max's wedding. All Idubs had to lose is his wife's trust, and I doubt he has that anyway, lol. Spinelessness says, Seems like their friendship is basically over. Anime Profile Pick says, Ian really has become the personification of this tweet, showing a tweet that says, People always be like, what zero pussy does to a motherfucker, but I've seen what pussy does to a motherfucker and it's much worse. Tenbu Kazer responds by saying, Joji, who was even between show tours, made time to be there no matter what. If that's not true friendship, I don't know what is. Ian has no fucking excuse. P-Hole shows a picture of Ian on that live stream next to Joji at Max's wedding and says, Virgin, can't go to my friend's wedding because my wife has a tattoo appointment versus Chad, schedule my entire concert tour around his wedding so I can attend it. Permaban takes this tweet from P-Hole and says, I saw people memeing this, but this can't be real. Imagine giving old friends zero face and missing the wedding when invited, while the much busier one actually made time to turn up. Over that? Moon Milk Based responds by saying, Idubs is so whipped it's sad. I won't be shocked when Anisa is outed as a Skylar White-esque domestic abuser. Jim says, Idubs fall from degenerate internet goblin to normie has been worse than the tragedy of Darth Plagues the wise. At says, Honestly, still makes me wonder why be with a person that humiliate you and tries to ruin your social life, as well as like, I honestly don't know why you would marry someone that ruins you as a person. Meh says, Ian is on a leash. Joji slash Frank slash pink guy is truly free. Simple as. Revenant Remio says, Honestly, I'm surprised Ian still has people that consider him a friend. Yuri Bird says, Nah, Ian is whipped by his wife. There is no other possibility. Daniel says, Based Joji versus Cuck Ian. Bulwark15 quote tweets Big Bungie's tweet where he showed the Idub stream clip and says, It's incredible how many of Idub's poor life choices just come down to. Anisa said so. Man at Arms responds by saying, There will come a day when he realizes Sam was right, and it will be far too late. Pandemonium Comic says, Some people have one bad day, others just have one bad woman. Beholder says, Dude looked at Will Smith's marriage and said, Hey, I I want that for me. Meme Space 9 says, Imagine how many other events he's missed because a guy was working on his wife's back. Offended Duck says, Joji's scheduling an entire tour around his friend's wedding. Meanwhile, Idubs doesn't want to leave his house. Joji is a real G. Big Bungie then adds more to the story when he shows these Discord messages from Anisa and says, Turns out he didn't go to Australia to congratulate Max. He actually went to get another tattoo. Hashtag tattoo gate never ends. These DMs are from the 10th of October and it starts out with Anisa saying, I think we got food poisoning from the hot pot we had last night. I feel so bad. Ian's on a plane right now because he's getting a tattoo from someone that's out of town in Australia. Just a day trip. I woke up and ran to the bathroom and then looked at my phone and Ian said, I think my IBS is triggered by stress. And I was like, uh-oh. Having food poisoning on a plane is hell. I should have known better than to be trusted to boil my own food. Just a worm response to this by saying, wait, so Ian left by himself for just one day in Australia only to get a tattoo, no mention of congratulating Max, and was shitting himself on the plane because of stress? And Anisa told this to people in their Discord for some reason? Am I understanding this right? Lol. Big Bungie responds, Oh, you were right. Actually, this proved that the IBS was real, and wasn't a joke like they kept claiming. Just a Worm continues by saying, Also, it just occurred to this like two months after Creator Clash 2, where they lost 200k due to mismanagement, and had to fundraise to pay out charities. If they had enough money to burn flying to get fucking tattooed, Tattoos? Why didn't they pay the majority of that? They must be loaded. Bungie responds, well, my theory is that Anisa's tattoo came out of his 20k fighter pay, which he would have gotten. And if you want to learn more about that, I have a video talking all about the Creator Clash finance stuff that you can check out next, because that is about it for people criticizing iDubs for not showing up to Max Mofo's wedding. It's a shame, but despite Ian's absence, I hope that Max had an amazing day. He probably did. I'm so happy that he found someone to live the rest of his life with. It's 
such a special thing and I'm glad that most of his friends were able to celebrate that moment with him. As for other people's opinions that I read on Idubs not attending, I think some of the replies were a little too parasocial, reading a bit too much into Anisa stopping Ian from going to the wedding. If Ian really wanted to go to that wedding, he would have made time to. I was actually in a similar situation two years ago where I was very busy. It was around the time I was visiting a bunch of YouTuber friends in LA, as well as trying to make a video for Mr. Beast's Team C's initiative, which I didn't end up having time for, as at that time I needed to prioritize going to Mexico to attend my friend's wedding just a couple days after that LA trip. But I went out of my comfort zone, I traveled there, and had a great time. So it's a shame that Ian seemingly didn't make the same level of effort to go to Max's wedding in Australia, but that's just my opinion. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, leave a like, and with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video.